What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as D365 Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate on Microsoft Teams, and we are looking at an action which is post a message as the Flowbot to a user. If you watched my last video on post a message to, to a Flowbot to a channel, uh, this, this action allows you to send a message to a specific user that you specify. So let's take a look at this action today. I'm in Power Automate and I have a manual trigger just for triggering the flow. I don't need anything else. I can click on new step. I can go to Microsoft Teams and I can scroll down until we get to post a message as the flow bot to a user preview. This is a new preview action that allows you to post a message. The only required parameter that we need is the email address. So I'll just start typing my name into here and it should pre-populate here and give me the option. You can also take this from dynamic content and, and pull it in from elsewhere, so that's all good. Next, we need an actual message. So the message that you're going to be sending to a user. So I say, uh, hey, um, um, can uh, we catch up at some point today? Um, I promise there will be cake. Uh, and then you can sign it off as in like, you know, Fred, something like that. Um, so you could use this as a way to like, you know, post messages out and stuff or, or notify people. Um, and we can just send whatever message we want inside of here. So maybe you have some direct content and it's triggered by something else to say, hey, new projects come in. Hey, something's been assigned to you. It can all go into your flow. So that's all cool. Um, next, we have headline. Um, so headline is going to kind of be what is uh, what is at the top. Um, so it's going to be like you know the the big thing. So we'll say um, this is the headline. Just going to see what that is. Um, summary. So this is sort of like a message summary, as in like a quick catch up. Perhaps I'll change this. Um, say so, uh, let, let's chat. Um, and the last thing is is alert. So this means that it's going to post it as a flow bot. Are we going to alert the user, as in we're going to send them various notifications in like the activities and elsewhere, or is this not? So I'm going to choose yes, this is an alert, and I'll show you that we're getting kind of notified in multiple places about this. Um, one of the things that this is going to do is it's actually going to use an adaptive card like framework to build and, and send this message to the user. Excuse me. So it's not going to appear as a regular message, it's going to appear as an adaptive card, uh, and therefore um, it's going to look a little bit different. And that's why we have headline and summary. So let's look all on test. Uh, alpha and trigger action, we'll save and test. We will run the flow in a minute once Power Automate is caught up with what we're doing. No, don't have a bit of a moment. Gonna wait, save a little bit. Okay, there we go. Great. We'll run the flow. Click done. Uh, flow is running. Click done. Uh, if I go over to my uh, my Teams channel, um, you can see I've got three notifications here. So uh, I've got a notification in my activity, in my chat, and if I expand this, in my flow bot as well. So I'm getting notified of multiple places. That's the is alert. If you don't set that, you only get it in the chat. You don't get the activity and you don't get the flow bot alert. You just get the um, the chat icon pop up to say there's a new message. So we'll, the, we'll click the chat icon, and we can see that quick catch up. So that um, that summary is is here in the message. So this is what you can see here. Let's chat. That's the headline. That's the bit that we we populated in, and then this is the message. And as you can kind of see, this is an adaptive card. It's a little bit different from just a regular Teams message. Um, and this is how it's kind of framed and, and formatted um, to kind of like notify that user. So summary, headline, message. And then we have all the activities in here. So we can see that um, is, is you know, notify me in the activity feed here. Um, and yeah, that's that's how we send the message as a flow bot to a user. And we can click here uh, and we can see, yeah, we sent that. Uh, I don't think that does anything. Um, and we can see just the details, so that's all great. 
So what do you guys think? Is this an action that you use? Um, you could use this to um, you know, send notifications to people in Teams to say, hey, um, something's been assigned to you. Um, if people aren't really using emails these days, you could say, hey, a new plan task has been assigned to you, a new project's been assigned to you, a new lead's been assigned to you. Um, you know, the, the various things that we can do to um, send messages to people for various reasons. Um, let me know what you guys use this for in the comments down below. If you found this video useful, if you could like and share it with your friends, that would be appreciated. If you've not already, click the subscribe button to stay up to date with all my latest videos. I'll see you next time.